My name is Laura Anderson and my kennel is Ninkasi Siberians. I am a member of the Garden State Siberian Husky Club. Today's event was about educating young girls in our community about dogs, dog ownership, and the sport of sled dog racing. We have been asked many times by people who see us out with the dogs, and we've done community public demos, but we really didn't have an organized educational event. It was more of a demonstration where we would bring the animals and just show them off for a couple of hours for the participants that were there. My husband wanted to start a project where we did something more involved. And the Scouts wanted to have a program for the girls. So we decided to develop a program that included the elements required for a badge in the state of Alaska. And there were several elements to the program that needed to be included for the girls to understand the sport and for them to earn a badge. So we included the meeting the musher, the meeting of the dogs, the visuals of seeing the dogs run, and understanding teamwork with the human sled dog team, understanding volunteering with the Iditarod, the projects that go on with the Iditarod, the junior Iditarod. We also included all the equipment and understanding the pieces of the equipment involved in sled dog racing, whether you're bike during, where you ride your bike and your dog pulls you, or your can across running, where the dog is on a harness and pulling you as you run behind them. Whether you're running on a rig, which can be a three-wheeled or four-wheeled cart. I think it's important for every breed club to educate the young about their breed and about the sports that they do. This is, this is where you get the biggest opportunity to make an impression on the future dog owners, the future of children and um, even adults who might want to participate in dog sports. Each club and each breed has activities that they participate in. There's agility, there's the obedience, but there's other things like field trials, lure coursing, hunting sports, uh, dock diving, water sports with the dogs. There are so many different activities that these clubs are doing. And I think it would be great if people took the time to put together an educational program about their breed that was more than just come to the dog show and meet the breed. There's always the one child at the event that grabs your heart and makes you realize why you do this. And each year, there's always a different child. And, and almost every year, it starts with that one child that is terrified of dogs, that is terrified of a dog looking at her or doesn't want to touch a dog or doesn't want to approach a dog. And I, there was one year we had this child who we spent time with, with the dogs and we had her come up and, we, and as soon as she felt the coat of the dog, you, you saw her hands go into the coat and then she just like, she kind of lost herself in that dog. And she ended up sitting down with the dog and the dog sitting on her lap and just wanted to hug and hold the dog. And at the end of the event, her parents were trying to get her to leave, and this child did not want to leave. And she was not going to leave the side of that dog. And it was this moment that we realized that we have, we have taken this, this individual that grew up with a fear of the animal, that grew up with a lack of understanding of what companionship they can get out of the dog, that just you just saw it happen. You saw the, the smile on the girl's face. You saw them embrace the animal. And then you saw the dog and the two of them connect. And your heart just sunk and just said, oh, this is why I do this. This is the girls who we want to touch. These are the people who we want to make that impact on. And it's always won every event.